I just got two fish on one jig. I'm out here. Um, it's been hard to catch bait for me recently. I've caught a few micros and a few good ones. I'm heading out to the deep water. Uh, just hoping for a pelagic. I'm gonna first scope out and uh, do some live bait trolling around to look for a pelagic first. And then afterwards I might go to deep water and jig to see if I can find any super, super deep water species. I'm hoping not the Kahalas this time after the last time I jigged, but something like a deep seven would be amazing. It'd just be cool to see it and catch it. So I'm gonna go into deep, deep water this next time. This is uh, straight out of Nick Morris's playbook. I'm gonna give a spam mosubi to the fish. The ocean hopefully will trade me with something nice. Goodbye, buddy. That's on something. It's a little paka paka. All right. That's kind of fun. Maybe I'll find a bigger one of those guys. <laughs> Got smoked. Risky got tanked. <laughs> He's not going down anywhere. Buddy. Maybe it's a bigger one. Doesn't feel like a Kahala, which is nice. Could be an Omilu, could be. Doesn't feel Kahala y. Come on, be something cool. Please. Please not be a Kahala. Please be something really cool. Explore in the depth. No way. Holy crap. I just got two fish on one jig. One of which is the biggest goat I have ever seen. Wow. <laughs> that's kind of cool. Turns out that's weird. Look at that. Look at that. So that was kind of funny. I hope that was on camera. I just caught a goat fish at the same time as an Omilu. Simultaneously on the same jig. It was kind of weird. All right, 500 feet. I'm gonna do it again. Big old jig going in. Let's let this guy fall down. What am I fishing for? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm 
want something big. Feels like I just got eaten by a shark. I just can't cut a break. Felt like a good fish, it just all of a sudden shark eats it. Ah, jigging is too expensive out here, I don't know. I feel like it, I can't avoid them. I don't think I can jig in my normal spots. It's just way too expensive. I can't, I can't justify coming out here to play around with like bottom fish. If every single time I come out, I lose one to two jigs, which are like twenty dollars. I need to buy the sh jigs in bulk or something. I can't, I can't buy, I can't buy good ones. It's not possible. I had a good fish on there. I had them off off the bottom, and the shark just ate it. Way too many of them trained here. It's really, it's really frustrating. Using the expensive equipment and a good fish, theoretically, that could have been something nice. Leader, whole thing. Like, it's just, you can't, can't do anything about that. Okay, so I understand shark protections. I, I know there's a significant importance to sharks in an ecosystem. But there's something wrong about what's been happening with how many sharks have been trained to take fish from fishermen. Say for instance, it's affecting other fisheries. Say I have a limit of five bottom fish. I'm allowed to have five of them, right? Fish, if a shark eats the fish that's on my line, that one obviously does not count to my limit, but I can still go catch my five more. If it bites it in half, I'm probably gonna toss the head back and try to catch another one. So in the end of the day, with how many sharks there are here, it's affecting all the other fisheries where in order to take my five fish that are in the, I guess in the algorithm, the statistics that are involved in measuring how fast a quota can be met, um, it, it takes into account the fact that now I'm now I'm killing six or to eight of them, something like that, because the sharks are getting three of them. So we're taking more fish than we should. 